Hello everyone, you're welcome to Few Cool Math once again. We have a problem before us to deal with, and as always, we are going to provide all the solutions to this problem. And um, if you're new to this channel, you will be doing me a favor by subscribing and um, liking my video. Thank you. Let's get started. Solution. We have m to the power of 3 plus 5m to be equal to 42. Now, what do I do? I want to bring 42 to the left. So, m to the power of 3 plus 5m minus 42 is equal to 0 because nothing is on the right hand side again now the next thing is to factorize this and i've thought about two numbers to use okay so the two numbers i want to use are minus 9 and 14 because minus 9 plus 14 is going to give us 5 um, it's going to give us 5, right? And then we are going to factorize. There's something common to 14 and 42. Okay, as a matter of fact, 14 is a factor of 42. So it's going to be simple for us. Now I have my m to the power of 3. Here we're going to have minus 9m. Then we have plus 14m. Then minus 42 equals 0. So this way, we can group into 2 and factorize. So what is common to this 2 is m. m is going to come out. Then we have m squared minus 9. Close this. Then plus here, 14 is a common factor. Then here we have m minus 14 into 42 is 3. Then we equate this to 0. At this point, nothing is common to both of them, right? By the way, I hope you're enjoying the video. Please, if you do, let me know about it in the comment section. So we have this, nothing is common, but we can simplify this. This is m into bracket m squared minus 3 squared because 9 is 3 squared. Close the bracket plus we have 14 into m minus 3 and this is equal to 0. Now we can apply difference of two squares as we have m into m minus 3 into m plus 3. Remember this is difference of two squares. Then we have plus 14 into m minus 3 and then we equate to 0. Now it's time for me to factorize because I have m minus 3 and m minus 3 on both sides. So I can factor out m minus 3. This is the common factor. Then here we have m. Here we have m plus 3. So you bring them together. Then we have plus m minus 3 is already out. So 14 will be left. Write your 14. Then you equate to 0. From here, I want to open this inner bracket. So m minus 3 is still out as a common factor. Then m times m is m squared plus m times 3 is 3m, three then plus 14. And then we close the bracket and equate to 0. Now we can apply zero product rule. So it is either m minus 3 is equal to 0 or the whole of this, which is m squared plus 3m plus 14 is equal to 0. Now, from here, m is equal to 0 plus 3, and 0 plus 3 is 3. So we have one solution already. But then, we are looking for three solutions, right? We are looking for the three solutions. And we are going to get the other two from here, where we have m squared plus 3m 
plus 14 is equal to 0. We are going to use the formula method. And for the formula, our A is a coefficient of m squared. That is 1. B is a coefficient of 3. Coefficient of m, and that is 3. And C is our constant, which is 14. Now, what is the formula? The formula is we have m equal to minus b plus or minus. We have square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Right? So this is what we call quadratic general formula. Some persons call it almighty formula, but I prefer to call it quadratic general formula because there's no equation it cannot solve, right? There's no quadratic equation that this cannot solve. Now, our m is equal to, let's substitute the value of abc. Our b is 3, so we're going to have minus 3 plus or minus, we have square root of 3 squared. Then minus 4 times a is 1 times c, and our c is 14. So this will be all over 2 times a, and our a is 1. Let's keep going. Okay, so this is over 2, right, from what we got before. Now, our m is equal to minus 3 plus or minus. We have from um, 3 squared. 3 squared will give 9. Minus 4 times 1 times 14 is 56. And this is over 2. Remember it was 2 times 1. And 2 times 1 is giving us 2. Now, to continue with this, our m will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of negative 47. Because 9 minus 56 is minus 47. And this is over 2. Now, we are going to continue with this. This is um, m being equal to minus 3 plus or minus, we have i root 47. So what I've done is to bring out the negative and it comes out as imaginary, which is i. And then we have this over 2. This is a 2 in 1 solution. So we say that our m is equal to minus 3 plus i root 47 over 2 or minus 3 minus i root 47 and this is over 2. Now let's bring the three solutions together. We have m1 which is 2. Is it 2 or 3? Three? 3. Okay so our m1 is 3 then our m2 is from here so we have minus 3 plus i root 47 and this is over 2 then our m3 now is minus 3 minus i root 47 and this is over 2 so from here we have our three solutions thank you for watching if you love this video Subscribe to my channel.